JJTHC.com is the place to go for a custom-built website, custom graphic design work, and for promotional videos for your business or personal use. Check the link in the description below to get pricing. How's everybody doing? This is Joey from JJTHC, and today we have a repair on the iPhone 5. We're going to be replacing the battery. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing you're going to need is a toolkit. Now I got mine from Oria and I will link this kit down below. Now what you're going to need from this kit is of course the screwdriver. You're also going to need a 5.0.8 bit can also get grab a Phillips 1.0 millimeter bit also and place that by the side over there. That's all we need from our drill bits. I'm actually going to keep this open over here to organize my screws. We're also going to need a little plastic tool opener, some metal snips. Oops. A suction cup and a pick. Go ahead and set this aside. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is power down the device. So now that that is powered down. Go ahead and grab our screwdriver, the 5.0.8 millimeter pentalope screwdriver, and take out the bottom screws. Now that we have that done, go ahead and grab your suction cup, place it near the home button. And next, you're going to grab your pick. And while you are pulling up on the suction cup here, you're going to get underneath with the pick and just go around the sides, opening up the device. Okay, so that was probably the hardest part of the entire project right here. So once you have this unlatched, you can just bring it open. Oops. And don't bring it past a 90 degree angle or you will snap the display ribbon cables right off. You're going to change your tr your drill bit to the Phillips 1.0. And you're going to take out these three screws right here. Once that is out, you can go ahead and take your little snips here and just take it out. The next thing you want to do is grab your little plastic tool and unlatch these three ribbon cables up here that connect the display. And there we go. The display is now off. Next you want to Get rid of these two screws down here. These are two Phillips 1.0 millimeter again. And just like that, the little plate comes right off. Grab that. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and take off the little battery connecting plate right there. And this pull tab 
does not usually work so you just want to take your plastic tool just get under there like that now it will take some force and since I've taken this out before it's I've already gotten rid of that heat the adhesive in here but it will take a little bit of work to get your battery out go ahead and place that to the side grab your new battery put it inside and connect the little piece. Okay, so now that that is then, I don't know why there's some extra slack right here, but I'm just gonna push that down. Hopefully I don't break it, because that would be bad. Just like that. Then we're going to grab our little piece right here, put this on right there, and then grab our organized screws here. And screw it back in place. The next thing we can do is grab our screen and put the little ribbon cables back on. Get the thing, the a plate, metal plate that is uh, protecting it. Now this is the hard part, because now you only have one hand. Okay, so now that one that is uh, all back on, you can go ahead and close the screen by pushing the top into the little socket. And when that is flush right there, you can start by pushing on either side and snapping it into place. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and change our drill bit once again. Grab the little penelope screws and you can go ahead and screw them back in. Once those are screwed back in, we can go ahead and test the device and turn it on. And that does not look right. Okay, sorry about that. I just had a little scare there. Um, the screen was not working correctly and it was glitching out as you saw, but now it's all fixed. Um, one of the ribbon cables up here, I just forgot to well, tighten it the whole way, like put it in. It was only in halfway, so I had to take it all apart again and actually put that in correctly. So now that it's in correctly, it works perfectly fine. Everything works perfectly. So yeah, that is how to replace the battery in the iPhone 5. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Go ahead and check out all my social media down below, especially Twitter, because that, that's where you can, you can find behind the scenes and special update information. This has been Joey from JJTHC, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya!